Hello, this is Hagen Devine, and today we are going to be reading about Backrooms 201. It's a very aesthetic level of the Backrooms. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into this. So I'm sure it's going to be, oh god, it's a long one, okay. <sighs> Survival difficulty, class 1, safe, secure, minimal entity count. Level 201 is a 200 second and level of the back rooms. It, it seems consi to consist of a giant desert with a large ocean to one side and a bright city on the other. The description, this level's main area consists of a large desert of yellow and violet sand that spreads for roughly 10 million kilometers squared about three times the surface area of the United States, and has an overall temperature that, rage, that ranges from 15 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Located at the warmest edge of the, the ocean is an, of the desert is an ocean, while at its cool oldest side there is a deserted but vibrant city, while the rest of the desert being completely surrounded by tall mountain ranges. The reason for the constant temperature distribution may be related to the position of the sun in this level, which has an orange and pink coloration, and its apparent size in the sky is six times greater than that of our sun. It's also fragmented in straight horizontal lines, and it's completely stuck in place on the sky, always staying above the ocean's horizon line when it's observed by the coast. The sky has a large white line grid that stretches all over the level, <clears throat> and it's Coloration progresses from a bright, bright orange near the sun to a deep purple over the city. Another feature that is characteristic of this level is the background music that plays throughout the whole of level 201. The music source is completely unknown as of now, and its genre is very hard to define as the music seems to be somehow be different for every wanderer, <clears throat> even if they are side by side. One thing that remains consistent is how most writers claim to find music familiar and nostalgic, and usually compare it to an aggregation of loud and elevated music, smooth jazz, and R&B, but slowed down and very remixed. Due to the fact that comes as a completely non-functional level, the position of the sun as observed from any point of the your level will be used as a reference point to determine makeshift cardinal directions in order to more easily determine the position of other areas in the of the level. The Cool Desert. The Cool Desert is one of the largest areas in of level 201, and the one that connects to all of it, its other areas. The area has various ruins and, ruins and temples scattered around, along with many floating geometric shapes. These consist of many basic non-polyhedral shapes, such as spheres, cones, cylinders, and toroids, and they appear in various colors and sizes. Sightings of static ghosts are also frequent in this area, due to the size of the desert, and capturing of these entities is uncommon. What's a static ghost? The aforementioned ruins consist of half-buried Greco-Roman temples, columns, walls, and foundations, completely made of smooth purple marble and decorated with various statues, murals, and busts, reminiscent of those eras. Main temples also feature floating the outer rings, render columns, and old desktop computer terminals in the main courtyards. Sitting on the floor, these temples are usually functional, and since Wi-Fi is relatively strong in this area, any water can use them. Though some of them lack a keyboard, and none of these terminals is compatible with any model of computer mice. These terminals also use an outdated system of dial-up modems, so accessing the internet will take some time. The flora of the desert is varied, with many potted plants, not indigenous to the desert biomes spread throughout the area. Palm trees being the only exception, as they are rooted near small oases of water scattered around the area. This water has the same properties as the water located in the Web Sea, and oh, all oases are located at below sea level, so it is assumed that the water comes from the Web Sea. The 
The deserts eastern and western edges are completely surrounded by tall mountain ranges. These mountains are made of barren rock and are completely devoid of life. Many attempts were made to climb the mountains to see what lies on the other side, but none were successful. Sunset Coast. This beach is located north of the cool desert, close to the Web Sea, where the sun is always setting, hence the coast name. This area has many palm trees lined up along the coast, and it's the warmest area of the level. The sand here is considerably softer than elsewhere in the desert, and the sea's waves are always low of intensity and heat. Some sad ghosts can also be seen here, most of them staring at the sun, while some just lay on the coast sand. The water from both the sea and the oasis is, is not drinkable, not because it's toxic, but because it's almost completely intangible, as well as impossible to contain in any sort of container. Despite that, it still feels wet when touched, like regular water. Due to its intangibility, not only is it possible to swim in the sea, but it's also possible to breathe underwater. The Web Sea and Digital Trenches The Web Sea is the name given to the entire body of water that surrounds the cool desert at its north. Was also named like that due to its vector like appearance, composed of lines arranged like a net, not unlike the level sky. The sea has almost no elatory activity and has a deep blue coloration, but sometimes it fades into a soft purple. Although no periodic t pattern into it is occurrence has been found yet, due to the properties of, this of the water in this level, it is possible to enter the sea by foot and explore its depths. <sighs> Auto stag ghosts are pretty rare here. Schools of binary fish can be found throughout the entire sea. These enemies take the appearance of skeletal fish up to 20 centimeters of length and resemble old members of the Merlu Lucidae family, though much smaller. They are entirely made up of strings of binary digits with a gray aura around them and are mostly harmless. Although when hungry, they will attack any other living beings around. However, due to the sea's lack of other life forms, their diet consists only of seaweed and very rarely wanderers. Anything that gets bit by a, a binary fish will start to dematerialize into strings of binary code, which will then be consumed by the school. The web sea is very deep, having a depth of 500 meters. It is there that the digital trenches are found. The treasures are a lot darker when compared with the sunlight zone of the sea, and are filled with flooding computer windows, resembling those from the early days of the internet and front rooms, describing many of the levels of back rooms. However, some of the uh, windows contain now outdated even inaccurate information, so these windows should be considered a completely reliable source of information about the back rooms. Every window contains a hyperlink, and touches the hyperlink when you to transport its user to the Windows respective level. But some links may also be either outdated or completely broken, and according to reports found in the level, these li links will lead to what is called the null. Not much is known about its location other than the fact that it's an expansive void of whiteness, with the only sound being the faint whisper of chance repeating the numbers 404 four, over and over. Since very few of the hyperlinks have been confirmed to be either safe or danger, the use of, it, of other hyperlinks is Strongly discouraged. List of confirmed hyperlinks. Safe links. Level 1, level 3, level 4, level 5, level 7, level 25, level 31, levels 87. Broken links. Level 0, level 2, level 6, level 8, level 17, level 58. Neon City. Being the southern area of the level, the furthest away from the sun, the Neon City is the coldest area of the level. It is composed of many buildings, including skyscrapers, hotels, and shopping malls. Every building in the city isn't maintained by any entity of phenomenal sorts, yet they don't show any signs of abandonment or erosion and remain completely untouched. While it is constantly night at the city, it is still very vibrant due to the large amount of lights and neon signs that cover the buildings. Despite that, many bright stars can be seen in the sky. Many of the neon signs refer to known brands of the, the front rooms, although most of them refer to Japanese media, seemingly at random brand can start the pour in this area. 
Yet there are no meteorological um, logical signs of its arrival, and as of now, it was verified they can last for periods of no more than 15 minutes. The streets and roads have a functional traffic light system which regulates what is known as the light traffic. Currents of red cars that dart through the roads at high speeds, stopped only by the red traffic lights. Being red over by the light traffic can be deadly, so it is advised to stay on the streets which are teeming with static ghosts. The shopping malls also contain various neon signs and have some undesigned um, features borrowed from the desert temples, like the neon rings around the columns. They have at least two stories. The floors are usually made of square marble tiles, and they have roofs made out of glass panels. While almost all the stores and restaurants are closed and are impossible to break into, their arcades are usually open, as well as some snack bars. In these arcades, most of the machines are functional in all the cabinets, and pinball ma machines are in free play mode, meaning they don't require any sort of currency to play with. Some of the machines do reward monitors with tokens, which are, are only used to buy drinks and snacks that are safe for consumption. These snacks range from cookies, french fries, sandwiches, to more filling meals like burgers and pizza, a slices, and a drink Inks in cans and bottles contain various carbonated drinks as well as carbon-free drinks. All packaged goods are near exact copies of the front room's um, counterparts, though most words for it's not Head containers appear to be completely jumbled with no rhyme or reason. Most machines also have bottle, also have almond water. At the many vending machines scattered throughout the building, there are also ball pits in these arcades, which are totally safe, which should be avoided at all costs. No partygoers have been sighted in arcades or the entirety of level 201 yet. The hotels are more similar in style to the desert samples in the malls, yet they also have interior poles and are still simple, very simple in design, containing only some pipes, palm trees around their lobbies and corridors, and some big machines and even gift shops have various items on display, usually t-shirts, caps, and slippers. The sub also has small lamps and scarabags. Scarabags. Since no one is looking after the shops, the items can be freely taken. The hotels are also slightly more dangerous as some windows may actually be windows, and as such, it is advised to traverse the hotel's windows, window to corridors with caution. Many of the buildings, malls, and hotels included contain television sets, which are usually turned off, but can be easily turned on. If one is turned on, an image of another level will appear, but very distorted by static. Almost every channel displays a different level, although the levels showcased in each channel are consistent throughout the televisions in this level. And some channels may even show a multicolored test card. No, equivalent to these TVs will always lead into the level they're currently displaying. Where did my mouse go? Oh uh, no, clipping into a channel with no signal will lead it into the null. Even so, it remains. This remains as the safest way to leave level 201. Phenomenon. I cannot say that word. The VHS effect. Every time level 201 is recorded on camera, either on video or on photograph, for most want to receive resulting video or image will always appear with the sad glitch effect, as well as words and levels depicting the time and day the image test video was recorded and the function. And that is, exa is acceptable by cameras such as pause, rewind, or play, mimicking old record analog media. For this reason, this effect is called VHS effect. Other variations of this effect may also occur, most notably one where the glitch effects are mostly mitigated and the analog functions date and time are replaced by LED digital light numbers showcasing the date the video was is recorded. It is unknown why this happens, although many wanderers or descriptions are slightly different in some way, and the effects usually remind them of homemade videos made by their family. Some moderators, however, or as well as many other safety entities, will not witness this effect and be the image slash video as it normally as it should normally look. The hence of the possibility that the VHS effect only occurs to those that have had moments of their childhood or to record via photograph or video. 
The two down and side goes. One previously unmentioned property of the background music is that if one were to stop and listen to it, they will start to feel extreme relaxation and calmness. However, it is strong discourage saying that safe for too long, as that may result in the listener tuning out of this immediate plane of existence. A tune out has to be a name given to this to the phenomenon. When the one or size tune out, their body will become increasingly covered by a static effect, and over time, they will become less and less affected by outside stimuli, whether physical, visual, auditory, or otherwise. If the wanderer in the state isn't interrupted from their trance, their own body will become intangible to other beings, and, will, and they will permanently become a static ghost. As such, it is strongly advised to travel through this level in small groups and always remain alert and fully focused. Having an outside source of noise like an alarm clock seems to be relatively consistent way to avoid tuning back out. Every static ghost, regardless of features, appears to be completely harmless and non-hostile, and never react to the presence of any other entity nor do they attempt to interact with them. There have been, however, instances of sad ghosts interacting with each other. So far, these interactions seem to only consist of handshakes and hand waves, akin to short greetings. Alphos MEG research team based Zeta abandoned. They were in temples in the desert. There is a band that used to belong to an MEG resource team. According to reports, the team consists of at least 25 confirmed members, but currently none of their members remain. All of the names attributed to both the entities and the areas of this level were given by them. They were also the ones who made a list of confirmed functional broken hyperlinks from the trenches' windows. While most of the members' favorite is remain unknown, some of the average report rates and records several reveal that at least six members fell victims to pathways that led to the knoll. Two fell prey to schools of binary fish, and three to the tuna. The base was left with most of its supplies intact, for any wanderers in need that reach it. They range from odd water to fire salt and even some level keys. Entrances and exits. The safest and most else Entrances. The safest and most consistent way of entering this level is through the use of a special VHS tape labeled Mach Plus. The safe can be found in many levels, especially in levels 0, 1, 4, and 11. Inserting the tape into a VHS player connected to the TV set will reveal an image that corresponds to a location level 201 on the TV screen. By no clipping into the TV, one can easily reach this level. Every time this is done, this, a tape will disappear from the VHS player and it is unknown if it reappears somewhere else or if multiple tapes exist. It said that Ralph, the director of Radio Ovacrum Studio, usually has access to the tape or one of its copies. Though for now, it is just a rumor. Level 18 can also lead to this level. Although this only works under specific criteria, if Wonder is able to witness the VHS effect, an old video camera may materialize in level 18. The camera's appearance is never consistent, seemingly taking the appearance of a camera from the Wanderer's childhood, like most things from this level. These cameras will either have one video or one photo, and they are always of level 201, being the only video slash photo recording the camera will transfer the water to this level. Finally, level 201 can be reached through level 33 by entering an electronic store, turning on a computer, and no clipping into it. Now, sometimes this may lead you into a negative level. This can be done during any of level 33 states. As mentioned above, the safest way to leave this level is by finding a tub and sit in the city, choosing a channel that showcases a desired level of destination, and no clipping into it. The hyperlinks from these windows in the safe and the trenches are also a reliable way to exit, but only the ones that were confirmed to be safe, as they serve any of the unconfirmed links was even to risk it to be reliable. No keep living into an arcade cabinet may lead to either level 25 or level 40. No clipping anywhere else may lead you to a negative level. If you find a ball pit in the arcades, jump into it and you'll get to party with us. Avoid at all costs. Whew.
Oh, that was back from level 201. Also known as ascetic, I think. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Who knows what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!